World War II. A flying bomb carrying a thousand pounds of explosive capable of vast destruction. Then Allied fighters and anti-aircraft batteries began to play a trump card of their own. Guiding the 90 millimeter guns was the Army's new electronic fire control system. Based on new principles, it provided target data for the guns electronically. With experience, the score of hits began to rise. This very weapon system was based on principles that in our time has led to the development of America's first anti-aircraft guided missile, the Nike Ajax. Nike Ajax first for defense against conventional types of aircraft. Then to meet greater demands against supersonic jet aircraft, Nike Hercules. And now, in the space age, a potential answer to the threat of the ICBM, Nike Zeus. Technical direction for this program was assigned originally to the Army Rocket and Guided Missile Agency at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. To execute the basic system concept in this program, the Army turned to the scientific resources of American industry. Time to think and to try, lead time. You cannot suddenly buy the long period of research that must precede final production. Nike Zeus is evolving out of our experience over the past 15 years. Its story began in 1945, when Army Ordnance and Industry combined to explore the possibilities of an anti-aircraft defense weapon capable of attacking high-speed, highly maneuverable bombers. In designing the Ajax system, a basic principle was employed, which was to greatly affect the design of Hercules and Zeus. All three missile systems have their electronic brains on the ground rather than in the missiles. After a missile is fired, the extensive machinery of guidance remains intact. Early in 1952, Ajax, armed for the first time with a warhead, was fired successfully. The same Army industry team was next called upon to produce a new missile to have a range more than three times greater than Ajax and the ability to carry a nuclear warhead. Radar had to be more powerful for the longer range of the missile. The Army Rocket and Guided Missile Agency required industry to develop a missile of greater speed, range, and explosive punch. Hercules was the answer. A system which has intercepted targets traveling faster than 2,000 miles an hour. And balloon targets at extreme altitudes. Today, Hercules and Ajax are proven weapons, guarding our cities, homes, and factories. America's steady growth of experience acquired in producing these missiles has been essential in preparing us for a new challenge, an anti-missile system for the space age. Here is the concept of Nike Zeus. Far outside the atmosphere, radar beams endlessly sweeping the skies detect the oncoming missile. 
Information flashes to a defense center and then to a precision radar assigned to track the target. Zeus is timed to fire automatically to effect the intercept within range. The booster drops away. A missile track radar guides Nike Zeus toward its target. The sustainer motor is released. The final stage with its deadly warhead can be steered by a vectoring motor. When Zeus reaches the target, it will be detonated far enough away from the defended area to save it from damage. Early in the development program, many agencies concerned with training, logistics, development, and production were brought together, bringing to bear years of experience, assuring that the Nike Zeus program would remain on schedule. The Zeus is now far more than a theory. Today, in its research and development stage, the facilities and production methods of American industry are being actively employed. In the North Carolina plants of a large corporation, intricate computers and many other electronic system elements are being fabricated. As an example of nationwide participation, several major contractors are working on the target track radar. The antenna mount here is being assembled at Coffeyville, Kansas. Some large elements by a company in Milwaukee. A company in Detroit is producing the hydraulic drive, and a concern in La Mesa, California, is fabricating the reflector assemblies. The combined efforts of these many companies is directed toward completing a Zeus test installation at White Sands Missile Range, where thorough evaluation of the two other members of the Nike family have already taken place. The site is being constructed by the Corps of Engineers. For the missile track radars to be installed here, an engineering company is fabricating antenna mounts. A major aircraft company has developed and constructed the acquisition radar antennas for the transmitter as well as the receiver. This transmitter generates the high-powered pulses which are reflected by objects in space to the receiving antenna. This early design stands some eight stories high. For the target track radar, this high-powered transmitter has been developed. While work proceeds on the ground-based electronic system, a missile test firing program is already underway. A booster arrives for a scheduled firing. On another day, the final stage, which will include a guidance system, is checked. The motor will carry the warhead to the outer limits of the Earth's atmosphere. This booster generates almost a half million pounds of thrust. The test day has arrived. The testing's about to be performed on this early model will answer numerous questions on the characteristics of the missile. Questions such as, will the missile withstand the intense heat generated? Can it be successfully launched from underground? At Kwajalein Atoll in the Central Pacific, construction for a complete Zeus test system is well underway. 
This system will be tested against Atlas ICBMs fired from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Integrating Nike Zeus with other elements in our defense complex is part of the defense planning which ensures the one step ahead concept. Nike Zeus is today moving ever forward to meet the challenge from the space above us.